How would you feel if I said I was moving out? Same way Charlie Brown feels when Lucy offers to hold the football. Excited, but with a skepticism born out of countless disappointments. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> but it's different this time. Read this. A larger penis can be yours with a non-invasive surgical procedure. No, 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 next to it. Yeah. Dr. Dave Chimbody, Orange County's number one chiropractor, mentioned this ad for a 20% discount on a free spine buster keychain. What does this have to do with you moving out? I went to school with Dave Chimbody. In fact, we were roommates. Say no more. <laughs> You're finally out of the closet and shacking up with Dr. Dave. <laughs> Stop. Okay, Dave and I had the same education, the same skills. We even started our practice at the same time. But he does three times the business that I do. You know why? He offers happy endings. <laughs> Target market advertising. Is that another way of saying happy ending? No, no, it, it means uh, newspaper ads, uh, flyers, radio spots. Since Dave started doing it, his business has been through the roof. How much is this going to cost me? No, no, the question is, how much is it going to earn you? I'll stick with my question. <laughs> Charlie, I am willing to let you get in on the ground floor of an amazing business opportunity. Still waiting for a number, Alan. $5,000. Five grand? For two, I could have you buried in the desert and still have three to get myself a larger penis. <laughs> oh, to be honest, that would just be gilding a little. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. With targeted advertising, I could double the size of my practice. Wow, a second patient. <laughs> You're not listening. Once the profits start rolling in, I can move out. And once I grow boobs, I can start dancing the lunch shift at Lay Girls, Girls, Girls. I'm serious. This is a chance that could completely turn my life around. Did you ask Mom for the money? Seriously? Nah, I'm just grasping at straws. <laughs> so, what do you say? <sighs> okay, fine. I'll give you the five grand, knowing full well that I'll never see it again and wishing that it was you. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. Thank you so much. You are not going to regret this. You have $5,000 in your sweatpants? I prefer to think of it as three hookers and a Philly cheesesteak. Well, great. I'll be over in five minutes with bells on. No, 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 it's just a figure of speech. But sure, I suppose I could try to find some bells. OK, I'll see you soon. I got to run her husband to the meeting. Oh, Charlie, really? The woman's trying to build a new life with her husband, and you're going to go over there to have an affair with her? You want this money or not? Give her my best. That was easy money. Hi, Mom. Do you have a minute to hear about an amazing business opportunity? 